Good morning, Caleb here with Sunfine Solar. Well, we just got a new GoPro. Gonna give it a try. Hopefully this will allow us to grab some more footage and uh, be a little bit more interactive. So we're just going to start our day here, give you guys kind of a rundown on the day in the life of what we do here. Our work bag here. We'll head her back out to the truck. Okay, a little bit of story on this site. In 2011, uh, we weren't the initial contractor that started it. Uh, there was a contractor that came out of uh, out of a major city to begin with, and um, they got uh, about halfway into the project, and then with some uh, issues that they were having, especially with these battery-based systems, ended up calling us in uh, to take over. And uh, the farm has grown over time, so now uh, it's time to reconfigure. The farm demands are exceeding what this uh, system can do, so we're doing a little bit of changes. Let's get out to site, and uh, we'll give you a look at what a 10-year-old uh, system uh, looks like. Getting closer here, uh, about uh, three quarters of the way to our site. Uh, just driving through rural Alberta here and uh, coming to a pretty common corner, the L site corner. We're gonna head east here and continue on with our journey. So we're getting a little closer. Well, not surprising, uh, we just ran into a uh, cattle drive here. So we've just got one of the local farms here pushing cattle down the road and moving them from one field back to the home quarter it looks like uh, for the winter time so we'll get past them here and continue on till we got everything in there so all right here we go okay oh, hey, here we are so the crew is already here I'm just providing some support for this is our work site for today all right let's have a look and see what we have here so we have 48 modules just on this custom rack. Uh, the uh, system owner back at the time, Farmer, he built this rack. He did all the steel work. And then this is the old Konergy Sun Top racking on top here. Man, that's a blast from the past. I haven't seen that for so long. Here's the old Sun Top mounting equipment. So much more difficult than now. Uh, so with this ray, a uh, total of about 11.2 kilowatts DC, which 10 years ago was was large uh, for Alberta and now man it's quite minuscule so uh, this is what a, a typical farm rack looked like from 10 years ago just pretty basic quite unsophisticated but it definitely does the job so pretty neat to see it all these years later and it's uh, still working well okay in the shop here let's have a quick look at this inverter system and uh, generator so here we have an early uh, uh, Schneider, uh, just after Schneider bought Xantrix there. So this is the original inverter. When we got involved in the project, there was this one inverter. And then there was a, I can't remember if it was an SMA. It was a grid tie inverter that was over here. And essentially that grid tie inverter uh, was just AC coupled to the grid. And uh, there was a small battery backup system. And then uh, half the array was to the backup system. Half the array was to the grid tie system. Uh, the, one of the major issues was uh, the client had indicated that they wanted to be able to back up the farm and uh, the way that the original contractor had configured the system um, that single inverter was nowhere near enough to uh, provide backup duties so uh, so when we got involved we end up pulling out that uh, grid tie inverter we put in an MPPT 600 charge controller uh, that just uh, allowed us to work with the existing wiring that was in place and the uh, source voltage. Uh, second uh, XW Plus inverter and then uh, an 80 kilowatt hour battery bank. So uh, run into a manual transfer switch uh, which then allowed uh, a full backup of the farm. We have a look at the generator here. Just an older diesel unit. Uh, still works well. Uh, so out, out here we have the west side of the shop that the electrical comes out. We had to run or cables in the ground so we trenched that out uh, here today so that was actually my job on site today helping the crew doing some manual labor uh, 
and we come to this uh, manual transfer switch here so with the existing configuration we have the uh, solar system coming in the bottom here and then the utility source up top and essentially what we're going to do is uh, have the generator come into here we're going to go up top there and disconnect uh, um, the house and the garage feed and tie that to the output of the inverter system and then so that'll run independently and uh, that'll allow the uh, <clears throat> solar system to back up this garage here and the house and then the generator will back up uh, the rest of the farm here. So, so that's a little snippet of uh, uh, the day today. So uh, in amongst doing our, our typical uh, projects, we do come out here for clients and, and uh, just do service work like this or, or reconfigurations to ensure uh, their older systems uh, uh, continue to work as they're supposed to. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Catch you later. Just rolling through Rimby here, one of our favorite stops, Hocktail Brewery. You better pop in there and grab some fresh brew. Support a nice local business here in Central Alberta. So let's get in there and see what they have on tap. Looking nice tonight. Okay, well what did I get my hands on? Well. I found some Unity Brew, so it's a Session Ale, just a collaboration with some of the other local breweries. And uh, uh, one of my old favorites, uh, standby, the New England Pale Ale. So there's some nice cold drinks for tonight, so that's perfect. Okay, just cruising the back roads here, nice and quiet. It's like a little rally stage road, so it's uh, lots of fun. So let's get on it and enjoy the drive. What a perfect way to end the day. All right, peace out. See you on the next one.